Okay, I want to continue working with this database on my uh, various employees and the jobs they're contracted to do. So if you recall, I've got the two tables, employees and jobs. Each table has a primary key, and I've established a one-to-many relationship with referential integrity enforced. We we'll go and close the relationships window. And I'd like to make a little bit of a change. If I were to go to my jobs table right now, and I wanted to enter in, for instance, a new job. Let me just go through the motions here. And I'll put in uh, ZZZ Co. And I want to do employ a particular employee. At the moment, it's set up that I have to enter in the employee's ID. And I have to know what their IDs are. I think I've got like A, B, C, and D. So I'll go ahead and put in employee A for now. And I'll do 11909. And the job is for five hours. But this gets a little bit tougher. What I would like to be able to do is when I get to employee ID, get a drop down of my employee names. So I'm going to do a little bit of a change. I'm going to look at my table right now, my jobs table. I'm going to look at it in design view. So I'm going to hit my toggle button, jump over to design view. And I'm going to go over to employee ID, which is currently a text data type, which is perfectly, it's, it's fantastic what it should be. Remember, my employee ID on my employees table is also a text data type. But I'm going to change it to a different data type. There's a bunch of different ones on here. Uh, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. But Lookup Wizard is going to be a really handy one. Lookup Wizard allows us to look up the data in another table or query. We haven't done any queries yet, though. So I'm going to go ahead and change my data type for employee ID in my jobs table to a Lookup Wizard data type. And I'm getting an alert here from Access telling me that I can't change this data type or field size because it's part of a relationship. It's not going to let me mess around with this too much with that relationship established. So no problem. I'm going to click OK, close the table, go back to my database tools and relationships, put the tip of my arrow on the relationship line, right click and delete it. Now, technically, as part of creating this lookup wizard, it's going to reestablish the relationship for me. However, it's not going to enforce referential integrity, so I will be having to come back to this relationships window and edit the relationship that's created. So let me go ahead and close, back over. So I'm going to go back to the jobs table, simply right click, open in design view, go to the employee ID and it's currently a text data type, I'll change it to lookup wizard and it starts the lookup wizard um, series of steps. Uh, the second option here, I will type in the values that I want. I can't even imagine a real reasonable situation where you'd want to do that. I want the lookup column to look up the values in a table or query. Yes, that's definitely what I want. Next. Now, I only have one table available to me besides my jobs table and that's my employees table so it makes this step very easy. Um, so I'm going to be using my employees table. I don't have any queries yet. Now what fields do I want to show up? You have to kind of imagine when I, when I click on my employee ID field in the future, it's going to have a drop down menu. And I'm going to go ahead and display a couple things. I'll display my employee ID, my employee name. Now you might even want to display other fields if we had them, like the, the employee's uh, skill category or something like that. Are they a network person? Are they a database person? Programmer? Um, but I'll stick with these two selected fields, employee ID and employee name. Next, I can sort them, and I will sort them in alphabetical order by employee name. Next, and this is how it's going to look to me. Notice that it's checked by default to hide my employee ID. Since a person will be filling this out, there's really no need for them to see the employee ID. They really are just interested in the, the employee's name. Who's going to be working on that job? But keep in mind, the employee ID is really the piece of data that's going to be coded in there, recorded. So I'm going to just display the employee name, hide the key column. Next. And this is actually fine. I'll just keep the default. What label would you like for your lookup column? That's fine. I'll just hit finish. The table must, I'm getting a message here, the table must be saved before the relationship can be created. Yes, I will save it. I'm going to go ahead and close this table, go back to my relationships window, and we'll see that there's a relationship between employee ID as before. However, referential integrity is not enforced. I know that because the relationship line is not bold, and I don't see my little one to infinity or one to many symbols on the relationship line. So I'm going to put the tip of my arrow here, right click, edit the relationship, 
enforce referential integrity, click OK, and I'm back to where I was. Let me go and uh, close this relationship window, and let's check this out. I'm going to open up my jobs table, and I'm going to enter in a new job. This time I get a drop down menu for employee ID, and I can choose from any one of my four employees. Excellent. So now it's going to be a little bit easier to enter in some new employees on a particular job. Now, data entry is often not done via a data sheet view like this. Really, I want to use a form for this, and making a form in Access is extremely easy. Um, although you might think this is pretty easy entering in data this way, imagine if I had you know 20 different fields and it would actually not even display all on one screen. I'd have to scroll to the left and the right. Now, if I was scrolled all the way to the right, you wouldn't really see the job name anymore. It's just tougher to look at. So I'm going to show you a quick way that you can make forms. I'm just close my table there. Right now I have two tables available to me. I'm going to click on my jobs table once just to make sure that that's selected. And I'm going to go to create. And under the create ribbon there's a forms command set here and I'm just going to create a form. And it created a form out of my jobs table. Really easy to do. Okay, so I've got my form set up here, and it's really it's it's done. All I need to do is go ahead and save it, and I can simply click my save, and I will. This is fine. It's called jobs, so I have a form called jobs now, and I have a table called jobs. That's perfectly reasonable. So now the form is created. Currently, I'm in what's called uh, layout view, and just like tables having multiple views, forms have multiple views. So if I look at my view button over here on the left side of the ribbon, I see that I'm currently in layout view. Design view will let you literally design very detailed specifics about the form, including fonts and background colors, and even you can put in some functions to perform some calculations within the form, and we'll do that soon enough too. But I can also use this toggle and I can go to form view. And this is really how the end user would see it. And they can navigate through various records simply by click clicking the arrow buttons, the navigation buttons. And if I want to enter a new record for a new job, I simply click arrow in the star. And I can type in that job name. For employee ID, of course, I get a drop down menu job dates it is a date fun it is a date field so I do get a little date drop down here that's kind of a nice feature and job hours I'll put in nine or eight all right and that's taken care of so now I've got a new record in there and something I want you to keep in mind is that a form is simply an interface for interacting with a table so if I were to close this form and go to my jobs table, notice that the eighth record is the one that I had just entered for Brent November 12th with eight job hours. So a person can enter data directly into a table, not as user friendly, or they can enter data into a table via a form.